Want to learn how to make a simple Christmas wreath like this one? Stick around and watch this video. First, we're going to start out by clipping our greens. All we need is the tips and they need to be about six to eight inches long. Now that all our greens are clipped, let's go ahead and get started. I have a 12 inch metal wire wreath ring. I have wreath wire, some pruning scissors, and a pair of wire cutters. So we're going to start out by taking our wire and just wrap it two to three times around your ring. Now we're going to take four to five branches of our pine. We're just gonna stack it up. You're gonna put it right on top of your wire. You're gonna leave this connected at all times and now you're just gonna wrap it around two to three times. Really snug. You're going to get your next cluster. Put it directly on top and tie it around two to three times.
If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you'd like your wreath to look a little more full, all you'd have to do is make your bunches just a little bit bigger. Make sure you're wrapping that wire super tight around each branch. If you wanted to make your wreath double-sided, all you'd have to do is add a small branch or two with each cluster on the back side. On this wreath here, all I did to add a little more pizzazz was I cut down some cedar and also some longleaf pine. I found some red shoots in the backyard and it really added a nice touch to this wreath. With wreath making, your hardest part is going to be your last cluster joining into your first cluster. Don't give up. It's an easy place to hide that spot with your bow. Make sure when you attach all your decor, you're using a little piece of wire to hold all of them in place. Each year at Christmas time, I set up a roadside stand where people can drop their money in a money box. And this is a super easy, quick way to make a little extra cash at the holidays. I'm glad you stuck around. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to see more of what I do, you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Stronger by Grace Designs. See you next time.